I will pull up the part four of this video and then we will be done. Uh, we'll give you guys a take home point. I did post a link of this video um, in its entirety in our uh, um, on the platform today. So it's something that you actually need to sit down and listen. Listen, like, you know, I don't even know how it is. I want to com compare this to reading the Bible for the day. Because if you can understand this, then we are we are good to go. We are good to go. You'll be able to carry on the message, and wake them up to what is happening to them. Wake them up. You were never let go by the uh, British colonial monsters. They were always there just with an exchange exchange of hand they switch you over to someone else another caretaker that will deal with you accordingly oh i have to stop sharing i'm like why is this not working all right So where we are today is that as it has pleased God to free us from this bondage, the collapse, if there's anything you take from this meeting, it is that the collapse of the 1919, 1999 constitution, the amalgamation of 1999, is the termination of the unitary union and called upon that condition. That this union is at an end. The fact that we have successfully delegitimized the basis of the 1999 constitution such that the National Assembly is now talking about writing a new constitution. We don't need to hear any further thing from them because they do not have the constituent powers to write constitution for us. And for those who gathered in, the, 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 the ones who gathered in Lagos to uh, uh, recommend our new constitution, Nina's campaign is not for writing of new constitution. Nina's campaign is to take down the fraud of the 1999 Ukraine constitution and to hand over the sovereignties that are detained by that constitution back to the owners such that they will, in unfettered self-determination, decide what they do with their sovereignties in two stages. In two stages. First is, there may be some of them who want to federate, form a fresh union, away from the union of 19, 19, 1999, away from the union of 1914 currently defined by 1999 constitution. It is in those two stages. You must go back to the preamble for you to know what needs to happen now. Anybody who is talking about new, a new constitution for a federation, that person is an illiterate, even if he's a professor of law. We are first going to answer those uh, five, uh, those, uh, uh, what, uh, I think there are nine of them, the nine uh, uh, legal experts, the consultants that National Assembly has appointed to lead them in the journey into the forest. We're going, to, we're going to respond to them publicly like we responded to Olisa Bakoba. Anybody who is talking about a constitution for a federation is an illiterate. A federation is a union of constitutions. The federating units you must identify first because you're talking about lands and people that will be aggregated into one political union. And so you must identify the Yoruba in Yoruba land, the Yoruba in the Yoruba land. They are the ones exclusively invested with the authority to federate, to decide it, whether to federate at the terms of the federation. That is what they call constituent powers. National Assembly does not have constituent powers. They were elected to make laws. Their legislative mandate is limited to lawmaking. Every role they play, inventoring into making a constitution or remaking, is treason against the rest of us, and we've told them, and we're not going to tell them any more than we've already told them. We're going to carry on in what we're doing, and with the collapse of the constitution now, the owners of the sovereignties are going to act unilaterally. They are thinking that we have to wait until they agree for us to have a meeting. We don't need any meeting with them, we've told them. The owners of the economic assets that are detained by Nigeria can take those economic assets right now. 
the guns they need to protect themselves in their spaces, in their ancestors, in their natural spaces. That constitution was the reason they couldn't touch gun before. Today that constitution is dead. So the the consequence of the situation, the consequence of our victory over that constitution is that the the union and the rules of the union, these are two different things. The fact of union and the rules of the union are now out of the you out of the way. What are those rules? You say you are Imo State and Adia State and uh, all those things are creations of that constitution. You say you are National Assembly, creation of constitution. You say you are police, Nigeria police, Nigeria army, all creations of that constitution. Council chairman, constitution, governor, constitution. Exclusive list from 1 to 68. It is that constitution. It is in that exclusive list that the oil and gas of Niger Delta is now the property of some stupid federal government. The, some, 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 some illicit federal government. Our federation collapsed at the point Gowan fractured, Gowan and his co-travelers fractured the federation from the day they were fractured into 12 states. The federation died. So where is that federal government coming from when we don't have a federation? So that federal government that is now the controller of, and the owner of all these economic assets, and the controller of all the guns in the land, and the controller of infrastructure, the controller of election, the controller of ports, the controller of uh, all those systemic items. The, the implication for what has happened now is that we have no union as of today. And we have no constitution that can retain our economic assets or forbid us from touching God in the altar call that will eat you. Those who have woken up, quite a number have woken up, we can assure you, are going to come along the entire second quarter. We'll be making a formal announcement. I think we're going to have an event, uh, you know, before that 31st of March in 2024 to open the portals for those who agree with us from all across the length and breadth of Nigeria. The Alliance Territory, I mean, all across the Alliance Territory of Nigeria. The Hausa will come in another layer, already doing what they need to do. But we have to get done with what we are doing so that they can be properly empowered, properly equipped. They will have our support to assert their own sovereignty and their own right to self determination from the 1804, from when it was confiscated by the invader with Madame Fodio and his uh, gang. And so we have, we have arrived at that constitutional lockdown. When you hear constitutional lockdown, many think that a trailer will fall uh, on East West Road. No. Constitutional lockdown is where we have arrived, in which the National Assembly is running Helter Skelter to write the constitution because the other one is dead. The Mecca Nyoko and his co-travelers are running around to, to, to write another constitution. You heard what in the opening remarks in that Lagos colloquium to tell you the kind of sinister situation we have. In his opening remarks, the Mecca Nyoko says that uh, Nigeria has only two options. Either to adopt the, the 2014 conference that did not discuss the basis of union and the terms of union. They refused to, they, they got, Jonathan convened them to examine the foundation upon which we are building. They decided on their own that they will not examine that foundation. That is not up for discussion, the question of our unity. That was their first decision on the floor of the conference. So that 2014 conference did not, that was why Nina stayed away, that was why we all stayed away. Now you want to, you say that Nigeria, that we can only choose between adopting that. And why are we rejecting it? Why are we rejecting 2014 so that we, we who are in Nina can understand it fully? Three reasons, three major reasons. The terms of reference, the terms of reference that they finally smuggled in as what will prevail from the office of uh, Secretary of Government, Pius at the time, the terms of reference is that whatever they discuss will be integrated into the existing constitution. 
that already defeats the entire purpose because you are now holding that 1999 condition sacrosanct. That whatever that that uh, 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 conference, national conference of 2014, whatever they decide, any resolution they pass, any decision they take will be incorporated. That means the National Assembly will amend the constitution to accommodate what they can accommodate from it. Terms of reference. Then the matter of representation, reason number two, why Ninas will not touch it, no matter how they shout, no matter how they cry. Reason number two is that the representation, the people who came to discuss, were not the owners of the sovereignty in the sense required to invest constituent power. The basis of representation was the structures created by the criminal enterprise of states, that is states, oh, delegate of states, several and several government areas, geopolitical zone. That was all. And then special interests, civil society. Are they the owners of the sovereignty? Mm. The British avoided the owners of the sovereignty in 1914. Lancaster House avoided the owners of the sovereignty when they were now discussing it with the politicians they are trained. All the military regimes avoided all the conferences from after Aburi. All the conferences had been avoiding the owners of the sovereignty. Had Yoruba and Oijo or Igbo ever been invited to any meeting by the Nigeria that's occupying their sovereignty, that is confiscating their sovereignty and conscripting into a political union? No. So they want to now pretend. That that gathering of their own nominees in 2014 was sufficient representation for all of us, so that we don't need to waste time anymore to go and discuss anything. And then the maker who says that we have to choose between that conference report and the setting up of uh, some kind of concert assembly elected on a, uh, you know, why do you go to electing concert assembly when you have not, when you have not organized, you have not identified the units that want to federate? The default, the, the way we are now is that the collapse of that constitution has brought us to no union. We are in a no union situation. They will not understand it until it's way too late. It's already too late for them. Yadudu suspected that that would be the situation. That was why he raised alarm in 2020 when he said that if this first major proceeds, that the legal basis of the president of Nigeria will be unhinged. We successfully launched what we had in mind. The legal basis of the federation is unhinged. So that National Assembly is looking for replacement. The agents of Britain and the caliphate gathered in Lagos to join them. And so, in pointing us to those two options, a maker Nyoku is looking at drafting of constitution as the first order of business. Whereas there are two other businesses that you must do before you come to the question of documenting the outcome. What are those two processes? Go back to the preamble. You divide it into three. We, the people of the Federal Republic of the... No, 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 stop there, stop there, stop there. Who are the we? You had a lot of people raising that question in his interview. You must identify the we. It must be Yoruba coming with their lands and their people into a discussion. It must be Ijo coming with their lands and their people into discussion. It must be Igbo. It must be Beron. It must be Tif. It must be Robo. It must be Edo. It must be Anna. It must be Efi. Everybody on his ancestral space. Those are the only people that qualify for we the people. I saw one of the, 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 the journalists interviewing uh, uh, Victor Atta on channels saying that, are they not Nigerians? So any group of uh, people you gather in Ocean, the market, can go to a hotel and become with the, with the people for everybody. That is the first big question. Who are the we the people? If we can't answer that question, we are proceeding to nothing. Any group of people that gather to say they are discussing my future, if they are not coming with their lands and their people, in consequence of their sovereignty, 
no no matter even they go and bring all the former government before bring them back to life bring all the presidents that died before to say they are the ones uh, because anybody who gets uh, oh the nigeria the elder says man if they had if they if they if they knew the solution to the problem we would so no matter how much they you know parade themselves as uh, the organizers of society for fault they do not understand what the problem is and the few that understand are being dishonest the two options that a mechanical offered lands us in the same result of let's go and write constitution it is when you have identified the owners of these sovereignties that will become one political union you come to the second big question of the one that bola again raised have they agreed to be in one political union hmm. and you can only arrive at that by a referendum there's no other way anybody who tries any other thing they try will will be attacked with more uh, 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 vigor that we are doing this 1999 conjunction any other thing they try to bring that will not respect these parameters this sequence of going from identifying the way the people to getting them to resolve by meeting you can't solemnly and firmly resolve to be in the visible union without any meeting it is that meeting of the yoruba with their sovereignty in their hand sitting with the job with the sovereignty in his hand sitting with Bero and Ibo and they don't that is the only meeting that can and they okay. can go to that meeting if their people have not spoken a referendum that's why we say two stage multi-regional the yoruba will sort out that question at home it's not i know that will conduct that referendum for them there must be the populace the yoruba people will say we want to be in union or we don't want to be in union the other people will do the same it is when they have committed to being in union that you now come to the second question of the terms of the union okay we are going to be in union are we to be in 36 states and seven so four local government areas and three tiers of government to have six eight items on the exclusive list that tie our hands that is in that third question you have identified the constituents the ones who are going to federate with their lands and the boundaries with amongst them however they arrange them themselves like in the lower niger you saw the map of 1885 identifying a dollar Uroboland, Iboland, and all of those lands. There's a chart of relationship binding them. The same thing in the middle back. You have identified Tiv land, Idoma land, Juku land, Verum land. There's a chart of relationship binding them. It is, it is at that first layer that they will sort out all of those things and come as a unit when they are now discussing with the rest after they have agreed that people have agreed to be in union. So it is in the third le leg that you you then sort out all those details. That 68 items of exclusive list, I'll be surprised if more than five will survive in that kind of a meeting. These 36 days, I'll be surprised if we have more, you know, four or five units, even if it becomes eight or nine or 10, because some people now want to uh, do more for themselves. It, certainly, it has to be their decision. Certainly, we're not discussing that. Certainly, nobody will mention local government area because it will be internal to them. It is in that it is in that third compartment of discussing these details that you draw the lines. Yes, we are going to be formation. Yes, we are going to have these few items to leave for the union office. Yes, we are going to have A, B, C, D. You bring this, you take that. The citizen, what are what are the, what 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 are the basic? What are the minimum? Where, where 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 does the right of the citizen end? Where does the right of state begin? Today we don't have all of that because they just wrote something in chapter two and took it away in section six we are slaves under the current regime with no right to anything including the right to life that's why people are being killed without consequences it is when you have sorted out all of this that you now come to another room to say gentlemen all these agreements let us write it down in a manner that everybody and the future generation can understand it it is it is in that it is in that writing it down that you have a document you can call constitution. Of course, you take it to referendum there. And before you come to where you are writing that one union constitution, the, the, the ones that agree to federate, 
will already have had their constitutions. When we were going to independence in 1960, did we not have the constitution of Western region made out, the constitution of Eastern region made out, the constitution of Northern region made out, before they went to Lancaster House as three different countries that were going to discuss whether or not, and if yes, how? So we're back to that stretch we were from 1951 at this time. But the joy of it, the joy of it is that if the people we are talking to do not summon themselves and rally themselves, even if they have to do doctrine of necessity, we are no longer bothered about what they have to do to come to that table. That's the only thing. It is The onus is on them to come to set up that meeting. We are no longer keen. We've been waiting for them for since 1999 and even long before. Since after Aburi, we've been waiting to have a meeting to sort out this matter. They were pointing guns at us, thinking that nothing could be done. But now we have done something that is bigger than guns. They are the ones who have to convince us that we can still be in union. You saw Tambu World come to town, say, ah, this matter is uh, hotter than I thought. We have to go tell everybody now, do doctrine of necessity so that the people can. They now all realize they're in trouble because the default, the big joker in our hand, there's nothing they can do about it at this point, it's too late. The big joker in our hand is that if no meeting happens, if they do not reserve and come to meet us, even if we decide to sit on that mango tree in Idi Araba, the union is at an end as we speak. The sovereignties are on the table as we speak, to be taken by those who organize themselves, mm. along with the guns to defend themselves. They require nobody else's permission to do all of this, I'm telling you, and that is what will happen if they do not find some means and mechanism for, for for convincing us that we could still be in union. We are, we are convinced now that we can't be in union with people who owe us, who owe it a duty of faith to kill us. That, that's the one, the Sharia we have identified. No, 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 no. We're not going to have anything to do with uh, those ones. Feudalism. No, 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 no. And since the one, the human that locked us all down before has been defeated, the reality is no union. And we are we are going to move from this altar call. We are moving expeditiously to freeing ourselves from whatever is left of their shackles that have been broken. If they convince sufficient numbers of us by a referendum to say we can still do it, the onus is now on them. We are not we are not part of those looking for how to organize meetings because they think that we are waiting for when uh, we, the transition we are talking about is if they wake up in time, they organize themselves and where there are sufficient numbers of our people are convinced that they do. we can do without the transition. We don't need no transition for Yoruba to sit back in Yoruba land and ask everybody else to dress back. But in closing, in closing, in closing, you can see the roles that our own people had played over time from the from before independence to independence to all of what had happened since 1967 make a map of nigeria see the role of gowan see the role of danjuma see the role of Hussein, see the role of uh, of uh, of uh, obasanjo see the role of our own people that are swearing to defend and uphold this constitution since 1999, they are the ones holding us down, including the ones that went to contest election under that constitution. They are the ones holding us down, including the church leaders that uh, asked people to go to get PVC at a time we had had closed door sessions with them to explain these same things to them, including the lawyers who uh, you see, you saw them in their numbers at the tribunal when the election uh, petition was going on, 50 senior advocates to one presidential candidate. They are the ones you saw. You saw what Olisa Bokoba did. You saw what Michael Zekome was doing for them. Mm. The same theory that Olisa Bokoba tried to market for a position that Mwabweze had abandoned since 2013 when we challenged him, say our sovereignty resides with us. It's not with government. Olisa Bokoba comes in 2023 to reintroduce it. Michael Zekome comes again to reinforce it. You can see where they come from. Enemies of the people. Look at those look at those consultants they have hired now. They all know what we're talking about, but their money will not come if they can stand with us. They want to go and share that how many billion that uh, Benjamin Khan and Co had uh, yanked off the treasury. For some for an exercise, they know will go nowhere. 
they will share that money, waste our time, trying to get to 2027 election under this constitution. That's what they're struggling to do now, to make it look like they've answered us and they're going to the next thing. And so we have to be conscious of the fact that the major enemy we have to get out of the way now. We have defeated the Fulani and their British sponsors with the collapse of this constitution. They are enforcers in our spaces. They are enforcers in our spaces. Those willing tools that were identified by several brokers are the ones we must have in mind as we gather in this altar call and march towards the joint jailbreak that will follow without further ceremonies. I stop here. Thank you. All right. So we will stop here. You can see there's a jailbreak waiting for us. It's <laughs> only if you wake up and organize yourself can you leave that jail. <laughs> Nobody will do it for you because some people guys soon we're going we are coming, we're going to know. As long as somebody is here waiting for somebody else to do it for you, you will continue to remain in that jail. And no, no there will be victims now. There will be eh? victims. I said there will be victims. Nigeria will happen to all of them. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's loading, you know, it's loading. If that's what you're waiting for, don't worry. Your your gift will be delivered very soon. <laughs> you decide the point that you want more for your people. The formula is on the table. And you're welcome on board. To end all this nonsense. The formula is on the table. Your role now is to ask, please, can I get a copy of the formula? Can I have the formula? Can I learn more about the formula? What do I need to do to make it happen? As long as you're lying to yourself, it's just a matter of time. And the British Nigeria will come to your doorstep. <music>